Hey everyone, Allison here, Black Cat Scraps. Got another card today. Um, this is a black cardstock from DCWV. It's textured, very cool. I'm taking white copy paper and it's cut to half inch strips. And I'm placing it um, and creating a border around the front of the card. And I'm gluing it down with temporary adhesive from Tombow Mono. And I have also cut out some, I call them floral images, from my slice. And I'm lining these up to make sure that they are mirrored images of each other um, if you were to flip the paper around and it would look identical. And I also had cut them out with um, just plain copy paper. I'm just using these for um, making a mask. Right, and I'm going to use Archival Brilliance Pigment Ink Pad. This is Moonlight White. It's very um, metallic-y, um, kind of glittery white ink. And I'm just going to um, pat it down on the paper and get as much of the black covered up as I can. And I'm going to use my spatula from my slice machine so to help me pull up the masking so I don't smudge any of the ink if I were to use my fingers. And I'm going to also peel off the border because I don't need that anymore. Right, and then um, I have a little extra glue here on my card that I'm just going to rub right off. That's an advantage of the temporary adhesive. Right, next I'm going to take my ruler in a white gel pen and I'm going to add some faux stitching. But instead of lines, I'm going to use dots. And then on the top and bottom, I'm going to use um, dash lines. I wanted a little something different. for this card. Okay, and I'm also taking the same ink pad and I'm running it along the edges of the card. Um, a couple of my paper packs have textured cardstock with white cores and I had thought this one was it, so I'm actually just assimilating my own white core version. I was just going to rough up the edges and have some white core showing, but I'm just going to use some ink instead. All right, and the last thing I'm going to add is some ribbon. I'm going to tie a bow. Make sure it's tied tight, fluff it up, and I'll trim off my excess. And I'm choosing to put it on the white to have the black pop a little more. And I'm just using craft glue to glue it down. All right, and the card is finished, and you can see the texture there looks quite nice. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day, and catch you next time. And if you'd like to know more about the supplies used, please check out my blog.